Okay, it's Luxury Fred and this is the 2019 Corvette Z06. Luxury Fred Sherman and again I am the automotive editor for Business Traveler magazine and I have an amazing review for you guys today of a truly epic American supercar the Corvette Z06 so I've got a full review for you guys today you're gonna see a full tour of the inside of the Corvette you're gonna see a full look at the outside of the Corvette and then I'm gonna give you my opinion on what it's like to drive this truly epic supercar and before I keep rambling on let me ask you to please if you haven't already subscribe to my YouTube channel I really appreciate it I post uh, a lot of luxury travel and luxury car content every couple days and if you have subscribed thank you very much and if you haven't just click the uh, little red subscribe button thank you very much Okay, so let me start off and let me give you a look around the inside of the 2019 Corvette Z06. Okay, so now let's take a look at the interior. Again, this is the 3LZ interior, which has a lot of uh, leather and kind of uh, luxury features. Of course, we have the uh, Corvette sill plate here. Uh, let me start in the back because I think many people are surprised as to uh, excuse my moving the camera there but you have uh, a lot of room in the back in the hatch area here uh, and a lot of movement with the seats you can see you have hard back uh, sports seats here and then if I come to the back So you have a very uh, fighter pilot kind of cockpit here. Uh, obviously you have your displays there. They're not extremely configurable. I mean these are analog uh, displays on either side there. And then the center one changes based on the drive mode. Uh, you can see it's in S for sport mode. Put it in T uh, for track mode. 
Then we get, um, you know, a different, much more track-oriented display. Weather mode gives you kind of a basic display. Eco mode, same thing, basic display. And then tour mode is kind of your everyday driving mode. Um, so you have your heads-up display over here, window controls. You know, very nice interior fit and finish. Um, this is an area where I think Corvette can improve and I'm excited to see what the new C8 Corvette looks and feels like. It's a very nice interior, but for a $120,000 car, it's, it's, dare I say this, it's a little too Chevy-ish, you know, the, the buttons and things like that. Um, so again, I'm hoping that's something that's gonna change on the uh, new Corvette C8. Uh, here you have um, cruise control functions here, kind of media and infotainment. You do have paddle shifters. They're very plasticky. I'd love to have metal paddle shifters there. And you have your center console, again, your drive mode, traction control off. Not too many controls on this uh, parking brake. This has the optional uh, eight-speed automatic transmission. And then you see you have your special uh, Z06 badge here, 650 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque. And then passenger seat is, uh, again, very nice. This does not have the competition seats, which are much more hardcore. This has the leather seats uh, that come with the 3LZ interior package. And you do have a dual-zone climate control over there and uh, removable roof, which I will show you now. We undo that, we undo that, we undo that. Three latches, one, two, and one in the back. And then, like magic, it comes off. And then, we go here, and I should have been better prepared if I pop the trunk, like that. And then we open the back. Then, the top fits inside here like that and then it clicks into place like that and it's it's securely in there and then you can just shut the top shut the back and ride around top Got it. so you can see He's got his little spot here where he goes, and he fits well in there. We use the uh, remote start to get the car started before we get in it so that the air conditioning is going. Something cool that I bet you didn't know is that not only does Hans fit in the front seat, but he fits nicely in the back seat. Hey, Hans, come back here. Can you go back here? Good boy. So he fits actually very comfortably in the uh, back seat there. Okay, so before I get into the review, let me go over the details of this specific car. So again, uh, the Z06 is $80,900, that's the base price. This is the 3LZ trim level with the leather and all the other um, kind of luxury options. And the 3LZ Z06 is $90,940. And that gets you a car with um, the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 engine with 650 horsepower, 650 pound-feet of torque. It gets you zero to 60 time of 2.95 seconds and uh, just an amazing car. As I mentioned, this particular vehicle has the Z07 performance package that gets you the summer-only tires, which are like racing slicks, the special uh, Z07 suspension, the performance tuned suspension they call it. It gets you the carbon ceramic brakes and it gets you magnetic ride control. Okay, now let's take a look at the outside of the 2019 
Z06. So I think this is an incredibly beautiful sports car. I'll show you the side view here. So again, this is the uh, Z07 performance version of the Z06. And I'll show you what that means specifically. Uh, it's got some extra carbon fiber on the outside. The Z07 has this kind of big plexiglass uh, rear extended rear wing on the back. And this also has the carbon fiber ground effects package, which is your carbon fiber uh, side skirts there, carbon fiber uh, intake on the vents, carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber roof. Uh, the Z07 performance package includes these amazing, they call them summer only tires, but as you can see, they're really more like racing slicks. And then the Z07 package also includes kind of this extended front uh, spoiler, uh, extended front carbon fiber spoiler there, which you can see. You also have with the Z07 package the Brembo carbon ceramic brakes with the red calipers that you can see in there. Base price of this is $80,900. The, that 3LZ luxury package is $8,945. The Z07 performance package is $7,995. That ground effects package that you saw with all the carbon fiber spoilers and things like that is $3,995. And then the automatic transmission, which I wish this wouldn't have, is a $1,995. That bright yellow paint is $995. So that brings the total price of this car to $107,220. Something else that I wanted to point out that I always like to talk about when I review cars, this car is completely American made. It's assembled in the US, of course, at the uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky Corvette plant. The engine is made in the US and the transmission is made in the US as well. So something else I like is you have multiple drive modes on the Corvette. I'm sorry, multiple driver modes is what they call them. Uh, you have a weather mode, which gives you better traction. Believe it or not, you have an eco mode on the Corvette and that does the cylinder deactivation. So if you're cruising on the freeway and it doesn't need all eight cylinders, it turns four of them off and it runs the Corvette as a four cylinder. You have the touring mode, which is kind of your general, you know, a little bit of comfort, a little bit of sport. You have a sport mode, which tightens up the suspension, tightens up the performance of the engine and things like that. And then the ultimate mode is the track mode, and that gives you uh, shift points, it changes the display, it gives you the special performance traction management, and it also gives you launch control. So I love the ability to switch between the, the modes. And you, with the magnetic ride control, you can really feel the change in the suspension as soon as you make an adjustment. So as you can imagine, the car is just amazing to drive. As someone that drives a lot of fast, high performance cars and has someone that has done track time, I've come to realize a car like this, you can't even come close to exploring its capabilities on the street, in, unless you're insane, uh, because it's, it's too powerful. Uh, this car needs to be on a track to really explore the limits and the capabilities. Now, the wonderful thing about a car like this is you can put it in touring mode and you can drive it around all day and, you know, give it to anyone that hasn't driven a performance car and they can drive it. You know, it's got that real Jekyll and Hyde uh, personality where, again, in the tour mode, it's very docile and easy to drive, but you put it in the track mode and it's a, a very angry beast. And I love that. Now, further to that idea, if you buy a new Corvette, you get a special rate 
at this special Corvette driving school at the uh, Spring Mountain Raceway in Las Vegas. So I think it's a thousand bucks and that's a two-day driving school where you drive Corvettes. That's what the cars are. So if you get a car like this, I think something like that is necessary because you just can't explore its capabilities on the street without crashing or without being arrested because it's so fast and it's so much faster than every other car. When you're in the tour mode, it's reasonably quiet. You know, you can drive on the freeway at 80 miles an hour and two people can have a conversation. It's not crazy loud, uh, but when you want it to be, that it gets quite uh, loud. Okay, so I think, I think, sadly, that completes my review of the 2019 Corvette Z06. You can read my full detailed review in Business Traveler Magazine, a future issue or on the Business Traveler website, which is businesstravelerusa.com. You can read more about my experience on my blog, which is luxuryfred.com. And of course, follow me on social media. I have a new automotive Instagram, which is Drive with Fred. Thank you very much for watching.